This is the shed that Sav Blanc built. The design of Sean Smith is an homage to the humble wine shed. Not so humble anymore. Martin Shaw and Michael Hill Smith predicted a shift in the public's wine tastes. And as you can see, it turned into a massive success. In 1990, when you made your first Sauvignon Blanc, it wasn't really a fashionable uh, variety. It certainly was a bit of a calculated guess at the time, but my view was that it was a region that had started to make and would, you know, I believe, make terrific Sauvignon Blanc. Martin believes one of the reasons Sauvignon Blanc is so popular is because its fresh, crisp taste complements so many different foods. It's a variety that is pretty versatile, and I think particularly, you know, summer, spring, those dishes like, you know, plate of freshly shucked oysters or fresh asparagus, you know, it's a perfect match. But it also has the ability to cope well with spicy dishes, you know, like Thai food, those sorts of things. Shoren Smith is one of the most unique cellar doors and state-of-the-art winemaking facilities in the hills. It's also where a lot of the smaller winemakers come to store and mix their brews. Clearly the Adelaide Hills is fantastic for Chardonnays and Sauvignon Blanc, but is there anything new that you're working on that you think may develop into a, a really, you know, another iconic brand for you? We're finding if you get your viticulture right, um, Shiraz is a style that is really uh, producing exciting results here. And once again, Shaw and Smith have taken the lead. The spicy and pepper flavours of the cool climate Shiraz is just what the market's looking for.